Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do a quick video. I was trying to figure out how I can save more money. Stop buying so much brown sugar, you guys. I use it when I'm baking. We use it if we do our own homemade barbecue sauce. I use it, I love to do chest pies and the ingredient is brown sugar. So I found this video is by the Needy Homesteader. I will leave her link um, to the video in the description box and y'all go check it out. So I'm going to attempt to do it myself. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite So first thing you're gonna need is eight cups of brown sugar and one cup of molasses. Now molasses has been very hard to find. I have been trying to find this bottle of molasses for over six months. I finally found some at, as you can see, Food Lion but I intend to go to a supply store, one of those big ones to see if they have it in the gallon size. So this has a measure on there and I'm gonna pour, I keep my sugar in my recycled Halloween pretzel container. So I'm gonna pour my sugar in here till I get to eight cups. Hopefully I don't have to go downstairs and get more sugar to do it. I feel like I am going to have to do that. I'm just shy of eight. So let me get the full eight and I'll be right back. So you guys, I pretty much filled this back up, but not really halfway. I just realized I'm running low on sugar. I keep my sugar in five gallon buckets. And that bucket, once I got this little bit out, I could scrape the bottom. So, that being said, guess what I'm stocking up on? Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. Okay. I got this bucket from uh, Walmart in the bakery for free or either dollar, one of the two, brought it home, cleaned it. It has that rubber seal gasket on the top and it helps. So what I'm gonna do now, is secure that in there. We are going to pour one cup of, I said, I gotta do this recipe. I'm not waiting. This has to be done. Let me make sure I don't have any water in my measuring cup. Okay, so we're gonna pour one cup of this molasses. Now, if you want lighter brown sugar, don't use one cup. Use maybe a half a cup. If you want dark brown sugar, use the one cup and you don't have to do eight cups of sugar you could do a little bit at a time you could do break it in half and do four cups of sugar and half of the molasses so uh, let's get to pouring in here now i didn't do this by hand but the needy homesteader did say she did and she found that it was hmm difficult to stir. So we're gonna use our mixer and we're just gonna pour this in. Hold on. Spread it out. It smells so good. Mm. Next step, we're gonna put 
put that down in there and we're gonna do a low speed and lock it. Okay. I don't have the guard, so if it starts flicking, you see that, you guys? How awesome is that? You're making your own brown sugar and it smells so good. But if you don't have a guard, she said you can just put your hand up like this. Um, I find you can also use like saran wrap, put it here, drape it around there and it'll keep everything inside. So we're just gonna let that go until it mixes well. If I need to push it down, which I, it seems like I do. Push the ingredients down so that our mixer can get to it. And she's right, I just tasted it off the spatula. And yeah, it does. Tastes like an old school candy. So simple, so easy. And it took absolutely no time. The only time it took me was the fact that I had to go down to my long-term pantry and grab some more sugar. I started to just do the eight cups, I mean the four cups instead of the eight because I bought this container right here from um, Walmart today. I wanted to get a bunch of them, but this was the only one they had, so I'm gonna have to search around to different Walmarts and see, it was about $5 and some change. It don't get no prettier than that. I don't think I will be buying another bag of brown sugar. It makes no sense to do it. It makes more sense to just stock up on your white sugar because you can make brown sugar. You also can make confectioner sugar. I'm gonna show you how you can make confectioner sugar also in another video. I wanna keep the video separate so if somebody's looking for one thing, they can find it and not have to sit through the whole thing. But I'm gonna do these back to back so they'll be right behind each other, easy to find. If we got it all mixed up before we take it out. It looks like we did. Wow, I can't believe I made my own brown sugar. You could not tell me a couple years ago that I would be doing this. And it's so easy. I'm like, I'm always buying brown sugar. Either I'm making my seafood butter sauce with it, I'm baking, I'm figuring out how to make my own barbecue sauce. Y'all, I gotta taste it. Oh my gosh. It tastes like candy. It tastes nothing like the brown sugar you buy in the containers at the store. It doesn't. I promise you, I'm not making this up. I need y'all to try this and let me know what you think. Oh my goodness. Let me just try to pick some of this off. Wow. 
And I see, I saw this video a while ago and I kept putting it off and still kept buying brown sugar. Baby, I gotta run to the store. I forgot to get the brown sugar. Silly me, silly me. But when you know better, you do better. And I'm just scraping the excess brown sugar. Oh, my battery's about that off of it. So let me hurry up and show you how we are going to store this in any excess brown sugar you get off the side. Just mix it in. Wow, I can't believe I did this. This is so exciting. I know y'all think I'm overreacting, but it is very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. So we are about to jar it up. We're gonna jar it up, okay? Wow, 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 wow. Let's put that right there. So I'm just gonna take my spoon and drop it down in there. Once I get the first little batch in, then I'm gonna mash it down like that. Hope you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm gonna mash it down like that. And then I'm gonna put the rest of it in. It's like scooping ice cream. Wow, that smells so good. Same thing, filling in any pockets that might be in it, ear pockets, just like if you were canning. I can't wait till I show my mom. <laughs> I made my own brown sugar. Get out of town. My husband told me, I took you from the city and now you a country girl. I was like, man, I was always a country girl, but not in the sense that I could do all of this. I didn't think I could do all of this. But it's amazing what you find out new about yourself and you're over the age of 50. Like, I wish I was doing this in my 30s. I'm like envious of people that I see like Faith Family Homestead out there getting it done. And she's like, I think, in her early 30s or late 20s. I don't know, I wanna age the girl. And she's just doing it. Any leftovers in the bowl that doesn't fit in here, then I'm gonna put it in a half pint jar. Maybe I'll use it this week to make some seafood sauce or something, cause I can't make any cookies. So that's it, you guys. Look at that. You can't tell me. I mean, that is amazing. Y'all forget my house, y'all. I'm still, we're still renovating. Okay, so what she also did was she used a clay bear that she got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond tomorrow and see if I can find that clay bear. It helps keep your brown sugar from getting hard. What you do is you soak the clay bear for about 30 minutes and let it soak up that water in a jar. And then you just place the, it's a cute little brown bear. It looks like a gingerbread. You place that clay um, bear on top of it and you just close it up and it'll keep your brown sugar from getting hard. Now you can also use a clay pot, but it has to be a pure clay pot. It cannot be one that has the polish over it or whatever. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in the meantime, in between time until I get that clay bear, because I may not be able to find it. Something I, I already knew on my own was that you could use bread. The moisture from the bread, it works just like the bear. And it's gonna keep your brown sugar from getting hard. And that's all you have to do with that. But I'm gonna get the clay bear because it's way more prettier <laughs> than using that right there. And so the extra um, 
brown sugar that I have right here. I'm gonna put, ooh, I'm gonna put it in this jar. It's not a lot. I probably could use a half pint, but I haven't cleaned my half pints yet. I just bought some more to replace the ones that I'm that I just used today when I made um, strawberry jam. Yes, I did. I was in here canning. I was canning. Now I gotta make pears. I don't know if I'm gonna get that done tonight. I'll probably get up early in the morning and get that done. So today is Tuesday the 13th, and I'll just put a top on this. Um, I'll take the rest of, well, a portion of the bread and put it down in here so that that doesn't get hard. And then I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm not gonna worry about, oh, I need to clean it because we're not canning it. So this is my extra. And this is my brown sugar. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. I enjoyed it. It was so much fun learning something new. I hope that you try this um, recipe and let me know.